Hi, and welcome to another episode of Google Cloud Innovators. I'm Sean Darrington, Product Management for Storage here at Google Cloud. I want to talk about storage, but specifically file storage with GKE. So let's jump right in. File Store is a managed NFS offering from Google Cloud that supports the open container storage interface for easily provisioning storage resources to one or multiple PVs. File Store gives you different options between capacity and performance, as well as availability considerations for your GKE clusters. But one of the things that File Store really helps with is the availability of your clusters. By providing consistent storage access across hundreds or even thousands of pods, you have that single NFS mount point that improves the availability of your container infrastructure. If a pod fails, all the other pods have access to the exact same data and there's no unmounting, remounting, rehydration or restoration of that data because file store is providing consistent access to those pods. At the same time, if you're going through maintenance upgrades of your containers, this is an easy way to provide that availability of the applications without having to unmount and remount the storage. At the same time, as we roll out new features and functions to file store, like snapshots or backups and things like that, we will do this in a non-disruptive manner. So when we upgrade file store, your container infrastructure isn't impacted, as well as the option for different availability considerations. High scale and file store basic have zonal availability, but file store enterprise has four nines of an SLA for regional availability. So for those critical applications, you can decide to deploy containers across three zones within a region. File Store Enterprise will synchronously replicate that data across all three zones within a region, giving you a recovery point objective and a recovery time objective of zero in the event of a zonal outage. And what makes it even better is that File Store Enterprise now has the option for multi-shares. Multi-shares gives you the option to carve up a one terabyte or larger instance of file store enterprise into 10 gig or 100 gig shares to use across multiple pvs and multiple pods so this gives you the option to maximize that storage capacity utilization but let's see it in action in a demo so let's get started uh, so first of all we're actually going to create a cluster uh, in gk we're actually going to use the autopilot capabilities to make things uh, simplified uh, i'm going to call this cluster uh, stateful cluster uh, i'm also going to use uh, rapid channel for the file store multi-share feature here uh, this is going to enable us to not only create the cluster but then make sure that the cluster is uh, properly connected so i'm going to click create here and uh, now I'm going to begin to configure the managed storage uh, with file store. This is going to use a CSI driver, the um, Kubernetes storage interface uh, for this. It's going to make it really simple to do. I'm um, also going to show you the YAML file here for the storage class. Um, this shows you the storage class is using file store enterprise, which is important. But you also want to make sure the multi-share is set to true. This is going to give you that functionality to have the smaller shares um, down to 10 gigabytes, if you will, within uh, file store enterprise. Um, now, once I do that, now I'm going to actually run the PVC uh, YAML file, uh, and you'll actually see that I'm going to do this with a single uh, persistent volume uh, in, in, in this provisioning process, and eventually be bound to the cluster. Uh, now, you can do this with multiple PVs if you want to, uh, but in this instance, I'm just going to do uh, one PV uh, and 100 gig uh, of the multi-share within File Store Enterprise. Uh, now, I'm not going to actually show you some of the YAML files for the reader and writer deployments. Uh, the reader pods uh, are actually going to be exposed by the load balancer for users to view. And this is what I'm going to actually show you at the end here to show you how uh, the multi-writer capability of file store supports this. Um, we're going to just choose uh, 20 writer pods. Uh, these will all simultaneously write to the same shared storage every 30 seconds. So in this case, it's writing to that one PB uh, file store enterprise that I created uh, every 30 seconds. And I'll refresh it so you can see uh, that increases. Uh, also skip the, uh, the YAML file for the load balancer. Uh, this basically just exposes uh, the reader pod to file store. And here's the URL that I clicked on to actually show you that I've got 20, um, uh, 20 writer pods writing. And as I refresh this, you can actually see that it's recording all the writers that are writing to the shared NFS file system, uh, the enterprise uh, uh, that I just created. Uh, it'll actually show you when I refresh this that the same um, uh, writer host names match each other as you go through this. So that's as easy as it is to use File Store Enterprise with GKE and Google Cloud. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more Google Cloud Innovator videos.